now a story we first told you about last night at 10. The Citizens Association leader responds to concerns over the organization's involvement in the race for Kansas City Mayor. Chris Hernandez is here with the latest now, Chris. Mark and Elizabeth, there is a split in the city's oldest civic group over how it handled that endorsement. Tonight, a defense of the organization by its chairwoman, who says it might have been worse to keep Mayor Mark Funkhauser involved in the process when most board members knew they would not vote to endorse him. Tuesday night, the Citizens Association endorsed Mike Burke for mayor after leaving current mayor Mark Funkhauser out of the debate. Today, the association's chairwoman defends the candidate screening process. Well, I don't know that there was a deliberate decision made to exclude Mark Funkhauser from our debate. But board member Dan Poravecchio resigned in protest over that process. The argument is whether Funkhauser should have been included just because he's the sitting mayor, even if he wasn't going to get the board's endorsement. Which basically included fair play. I did not believe fair play was in, ex in evidence. Dan Porvecchio was one voice. We had 29 other voices, including mine, that, you know, both did not agree that, that Mr. Funkhauser is going, to, is going to deserve our endorsement going forward. The Citizens Association formed in the 30s to sweep corruption out of City Hall during the Pendergast era. It says it's a champion of good government. That image is now being questioned. Well, obviously, like I said, it's rigged. The fix was in. And that's, I mean, where's the, where's the transparency? Where's the honesty? I think what we did was the right thing to do. I, I, I think it was absolutely transparent. She says it was transparent because the interviews and debate were open to the public and the media. Poravecchio says talk about excluding Funkhauser dates back to August. Poravecchio, Poravecchio says he supports some but not all of Funkhauser's policies and that he is not involved in that campaign in any way. And I have talked with other members of the Citizens Association who say Poravecchio is not alone in his disagreement with the process. In the newsroom, Chris Hernandez, NBC Action News.